Now, one thing I just wanna be super transparent about is this video, and I do not know why, was super hard to record because I kept saying the wrong words. I kept stumbling over things. I'm over here rolling my eyes and doing everything and trying to get back into it because I don't want you guys to see that because it's not your fault, it's mine, naturally. And I think I may go ahead and include some of the bloopers in here towards the end of the video just, <laughs> just so you guys can see how many mishaps I had. Hey, everyone, it is your girl, Nicole Austin, Miss Austin, if you nasty, and welcome back to another video and if you are new here let me just tell you what we're about i speak about perfume i speak about food i do vlogging so it's a whole lifestyle type of channel lately what i've been focusing on is perfume so that's probably going to be the bulk of the content because that's the content that people enjoy but last week we did a vlog we did some eating out a whole little good little mixture so look out for those type of things too so today's video, we are speaking about good layering options for different types of vanilla fragrances. Because vanilla is one of my favorite scents to be in a fragrance. And I figured, hey, why not show the people what I do to make my perfumes, parfums, cologne, whatever you wanna call them, make them stand out just a little bit more. And before I get into the video, because I'm not gonna do any long talking, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. That's the way I get my content out there. That's the way I grow this community. That's the way that this just becomes a bigger thing, right? So I really appreciate everyone who already has done so, and I just, please continue doing so. Let's get into it. So the first one up is the bakery vanillas. Let me explain why I call it bakery vanillas because it smells like something that comes out of a bakery. It smells like pies and cupcakes and cakes and you know, hot chocolate with a little cinnamon on top. Things that leave a really good sillage. Things that you know you have a trail. You walk past it, you smell it. Things that you wanna be pronounced, prominent because that's what baked goods smells like. When you are wearing these type of fragrances, you want to smell like a snack. Now the first combination up, I have EOS, I don't know if it's EOS or EOS, which is our vanilla cashmere, and then mixed with something like a charcoal musk. Now, let me put these closer to the camera so you guys can see them. Now, I will say it doesn't have to be necessarily these two. These are just the two that I'm using as an example. And this vanilla cashmere is the one, is a lotion or, you know, body moisturizer that I use with my more bakery type of vanillas. Uh, but anything that are, is similar and works for you, right? But the reason I use these as an example is because charcoal must, to me, smells like hot chocolate with a little bit of vanilla smashed, uh, splashed in there. Uh, you know, it's, it's very much delectable, very much snacky. And that is what vanilla cashmere gives me in, in the lotion. The fragrance is heavy on the vanilla. It smells like something is being baked. It smells like a creamy cupcake, right? It's very smooth, but it's also very sweet. And you can, if you're just using this to moisturize, you're gonna get enough fragrance for a couple of hours. You know, it's not gonna probably have any sillage, it's probably not gonna have any um, projection, but if you're just smelling yourself, you're gonna smell this on you for a little a little bit of time, right? So when you add in a, again, a bakery type of fake fragrance, it just does so much for it. Now, out of all of the vanillas that we're gonna be speaking about, the bakery vanilla is probably my least favorite. I still love it, I still like it, but it's just at the bottom of the list because I don't particularly care for on a regular basis to smell like a baked good, right? This is more so when I wanna feel like a hug, when I wanna feel like um, very uh, joyful and light and I wanna give that energy to the people I'm gonna be around, right? So that's more so what I feel when I'm wearing the bakery vanillas. But again, when you are pairing uh, these type of vanillas, you definitely want to have something that is pronounced and projects and gives off baked good vibes. Really quick, if the lighting seems a little bit differently, that's because I had to turn this ring light down because it was the glare was too high. You're not able to see like the writings on the bottle. And I don't even know if you will be able to see it this time, but I'm not gonna turn this light back down again, okay? <laughs> but I do hope this helps. Anyway, so the next type of vanilla I wanna speak about is the soft, the gentle, the feminine vanilla, okay? Not something that's gonna walk into a room before you, but definitely walk behind you, okay? It's gonna be very, very uh, entrancing, yet subtle. And the examples I'm gonna be using today is going to be Tula Skin Care, Probiotics and Superfoods. It is their body moisturizer. Hopefully you guys are seeing this. I think the glare from the other lights is still too bright, but I'll go ahead and put it on the screen. Mixed with Gentle Fluidity Gold. Baby, this is such a great pair. 
Again, you do not have to use these exact pairs, but this is what I figured and this is what I found out it works for me, okay? The Tula Skincare, this has a very, very light vanilla bean fragrance. I mean, very subtle, very calm. It's not too much. It's not overpowering. It is not overbearing. And then the Gentle Fluidity Gold is also another very soft vanilla, very subtle vanilla, but she definitely does still pack a punch, okay? You're gonna still smell her when you spray her on. All right, now I will say to be honest, these MFK products of the fragrances, for me, they don't last with the initial spray more than three, four hours. So, you know, you may have to, you know, get you a little, um, autonomize the fragrances and stuff like that. But anyway, but just that initial spray, the initial combination, this this is an excellent, excellent pair when it comes to that scent, that soft, that gentle vanilla. The next one on the list is going to be a strong vanilla. This one will walk into the room before you do. This one is here to make you be seen. Today's example is going to be Alt Nicotiana, which is supposed to be a dupe for Tom Ford's Tobacco Vini. Do I prefer Tom Ford's Tobacco Vini? Yes. But for the price tag, will I use Nicotiana? Absolutely. And I went ahead and paired it with the Eucerin or any, honestly, this is Eucerin, I prefer Eucerin or CeraVe, but any fragrance-free, non-scented type of body cream, moisturizer, anything like that, lotion, right? And to be very honest with you, the fragrance-free body creams, moisturizers, lotions, they give better projection for me than the scented lotions and so on and so forth, right? Just, you know, a little side note there. But anyway, I combine these two for one reason and one reason only. So a fragrance free with a very strong scent because you do not want to be overbearing, okay? Yes, you naturally are wanting to be seen, okay? And notice when you're wearing a stronger perfume, however, you do not want to be in a situation where even you are giving yourself a headache to where you are offending other people that you're around, especially if it's gonna be in a tight, enclosed space like a car that you're gonna be in for a while or maybe a smaller type of venue, you know, things of that nature. So for me, the perfume is gonna do more than enough projection. It's gonna give you more than enough sillage where you don't have to attach a body cream with it. That's just my personal opinion. But this again is the only reason why I pair these together or these types of moisturizer with perfumes. And the last one on the list, I call the vanilla of vanilla, okay? This is when you want to smell strictly like vanilla okay when you want that vanilla note to overpower any other note that's in the fragrance so the example i'm going to be using today is kaylee's vanilla 28 i'm pretty sure that you guys knew this was coming and i would like to pair it with something like um watch me whip from tarashi p henson's line and this is vanilla and tuberose okay now these are both very strong vanilla fragrances okay or fragranced so this of course a perfume this is a body cream right so whipped body cream but these have that very pronounced vanilla scent you smell the vanilla first even in the dry down you smell the vanilla more pronounced now the um, vanilla by K. Ali, this is more so like a vanilla brown sugar. So you definitely smell like that brown sugar, that sweet smell in the dry down, but still vanilla takes the cake. I mean, the name, it says it in the name, right? Vanilla takes the cake with this fragrance. So I like to combine it just so you can see the two. I like to combine these different types or these types of, you know, this type of combo, because again, this is vanilla. We are here to be vanilla. We're not here to be vanilla and rose. We're not here to be vanilla and chocolate. We're not here to be vanilla and marshmallow, vanilla, vanilla and coconut. We are here to say, I am vanilla and respect my name. Put some respect on my name. Okay, period. So this is how I would, again, layer it. Now, reminder, and I wanna say this twice, three times, however many times, because I realize that sometimes we gotta repeat ourselves. You do not have to use these specific combinations. These are just what I like to use, but use something that's in that type of family that you prefer, right? That you like. But again, yes, this is how I would pair the vanillas of vanillas because when I tell you, you smell this and you just, you smell vanilla. And to be honest, to be honest, this even don't got enough, this don't even got enough vanilla in it for me. I like I, I do like these paired together and combined. Don't get me wrong, but this don't even have vanilla, enough vanilla in it for me. You know what might even be better with this? Just to be honest, is the warm sugar from Bath and Body Works. 
because that is a very very also vanilla of vanilla type of fragrance so that might even be a better combination than this uh, wash me whip from Taraji P Henson's line but again I get a great this combo this makes me feel like and this may be of the bunch my favorite because vanilla I just love I love vanilla because of do you guys know when you you put on a fragrance and it's just it swarms you you know it engulfs you it wraps you up I get that the most and I love that and I get that the most from this pair this specific pair at that but I do think that the warm sugar or warm or is it warm vanilla I think it's warm vanilla from Bath and Body Works I do think that that may be a better pair just based on the notes in the fragrances right now one last thing I want to talk about before I let you guys go and again thank you so much for watching is how I layer my fragrances just in general so yes the vanilla but just you know anything I'm doing especially like in the summertime the winter time I may not do it as much because I'm not showing as much skin but then again if I really want to have a certain level of projection I will do it so first let me grab this any old one I'm going to put on the body cream straight out the shower, the lotion, whatever, whichever one you want to use. I still want to have a certain moisture to my skin, so I try to do it as, I mean, immediately as I dry my skin, I'm going to go ahead and throw this on, okay? Then, I am going to get the perfume, okay? I'm going to spray it in all the points of my body that I would typically spray the perfume. Then, I'm going to get an oil. You can get a lightly scented oil, a fragrance free oil, you can get an oil that is a vanilla oil or whatever, you know, notes that are prominent in the perfume that you're wearing and the fragrance that you're wearing, right? Then I spray this on me or, you know, if it's not a spray bottle, you pump it, whatever, and I put it, especially in the areas that are going to be seen, but you can also put it all over your body, completely up to you. Then I go back in with the fragrance. This is how, because I have the type of skin, like I told you guys, that doesn't really hold on to fragrances, certain types of fragrances, right? I have to do a whole bunch of stuff. But that is how I get my fragrances to project, how I get my fragrances to have much longer time or so better longevity, as well as how I get a better sillage. But more importantly, because honestly, I know compliments is something that we all want in the fragrance world, but more importantly, this is how I just feel better about my fragrance and how I smell it and how it makes me feel and the way it encompasses my body, right? So that's just my routine for how I go about... Um, you know, smelling good and, and being fragranced and, you know, giving that whole vibe. And that's it, guys. Now, one thing I just want to be super transparent about is this video, and I do not know why, was super hard to record because I kept saying the wrong words. I kept stumbling over things. I'm over here rolling my eyes and doing everything and trying to get back into it because I don't want you guys to see that because it's not your fault, it's mine, naturally. And I think I may go ahead and include some of the bloopers in here towards the end of the video just, <laughs> just so you guys can see how many mishaps I had. Typically, it's not this hard for me to record a video because um, something like I've said previously in my channel is that I have been doing social media for a while so I've grown Instagram I've grown TikTok um, to having well in the tens of thousands of followers or supporters rather is what I like to call it I'm trying to grow my YouTube to do the same type of you know numbers and have the same amount of supporters and get the same type of engagement so I'm very very used to speaking in front of a camera or to a phone or whatever you want to call it so I don't know why I was so tongue-tied today but I uh, definitely just want to kind of want to throw that out there just in case you see any of it in the video but anyway that's not there you go. I'm not going to take that out. I'm not going to take that out. Just so you can see, that's the type of stuff that's been happening all day <laughs> when I've been recording all of my videos, really, for all my social media platforms. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please, again, like, comment, and subscribe. Join the family. And until next time, be blessed and stay safe. That's just how we get this content out there. That's just how I smell those things, those baked goods inside, you know, just baking up you know coming now all of all of the chalk now all of